some post for you, Poirot. Mr. Hercule Poirot, you fancy yourself, don't you, at solving mysteries that are too difficult for our poor thick-head British police? Let us see, Mr. Clever Poirot, just how clever you can be. Perhaps you'll find this nut too hard to crack. Look out for Endover on the 21st of the month. Yours extra. A. B. C. Oh, it's some sort of joke. Maybe. But please remind me to inform Chief Inspector Jap. It's here, Poirot. The murder took place in this street. Grim place indeed. Tout à fait, Hastings. The streets of Andover are in a terrible state. Look, there's Chief Inspector Jap. He's talking with a policeman. Let us try not to get our shoes wet. Don't dilly-dally, Poirot. Jap will be waiting for us. Over here, it's Hastings and Poirot. You missed the nine o'clock train? We took the half-past ten. Luckily, the service is good to Andover. So, Chief Inspector, what do we have? The victim is called Alice Asher. She owned this tobacco shop. She was killed yesterday with a blow to the back of the head. At what time? Let me just check. Is Jap being too relaxed? Let us find the clues that prove it. Jap is in a good mood. I bet he thinks he's already called the culprit. The last customer to see Mrs. Asher alive left her shop at half past five. The body was found at around eleven in the evening by an officer doing his rounds. The shop door was open. That's what alerted him. Had anything been taken? A little tobacco, maybe, but you'd hardly murder for a few smokes. There's nothing of any real value in the shop. What type of woman was Mrs. Asher? In her fifties, married but separated, no children. A husband? Aha, Franz Asher, the husband. Alcoholic and violent. It's said that he regularly insulted his wife and threatened to kill her. Do you think he's guilty? We'll look for Franz Asher. If he doesn't have an alibi, the case is closed. A very unoriginal murder. But that. May I examine the crime scene? Of course, old chap. I'll be with you in a minute, Poirot.
this fruit and vegetable shop as a front row seat. Therefore, an employee might have noticed something. Jap is in a good mood. I'll be with you in a minute, Poirot. is unusually tidy for a crime scene. <laughs> Nothing suggests any sign of a fight. The door is locked. There are cigarette packets in a mess on the shelf. There are cigarette packets in a mess on the shelf. Teal does not appear to have been touched. I have to check that nothing is missing from it. Ah, a mechanism has just made a fan click. It would be best to examine the rest of the till. It is blocked by something. It is blocked by something. The tail is full of money. But there is something strange. Something is hidden underneath. This must be the key to the back of She has a packet of play cigarette next to her hand. Did she drop it when she fell? I can't see any other mark on the floor. This poor woman's head is resting in a very even-shaped pool of blood. This poor woman's head is resting in a very even-shaped pool of blood. 
Hmm, the body is hidden by the counter and is not visible from the tobacco shop store. Many customers might have thought that Mrs. Asher had popped out. I can't see any other map. This poor woman's head is resting in a very evil... Hmm, the body is hidden by... She just has one wound on the back of the head. There are no other wounds or signs of a struggle. The door is locked. 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 is oozing out. No, it's just some strawberries that are losing their juice. They probably come from the fruit and vegetable shop opposite. It's not just any railway guide. It's an ABC. It's open at the letter A. There are no prints on the book. So, Poirot, any news? So, an ABC guide with no fingerprints, but prints all over the counter. Normally, the tobacco shop does not sell ABC guides. Exact. Mon ami, could you have a word with the neighbors? Some may have seen something. Of course, my friend, I'll do it straight away. The counter is covered with fingerprints all on top of one another. Unfortunately, it will not be possible to use them. The door is locked. The there are cigarettes packets. Oh. <laughs> 
The door is locked. Blood. Did Alice Asher suffer from nosebleeds? An inscription in German. Souvenir of our honeymoon in the Black Forest. To my Alice forever, Franz Asher. The Ashers were a lovely couple when they were young. It is blocked by something. These drawings appear to be attached to the chest of drawers. They won't move. Such a pretty decoration should be at the center of the motif. The wooden flower is preventing the circle from turning. I heard a faint sound as if something was unlocked. Hmm, it is blocked. Medicine. Laudanum based cough medicine, Mrs. Hasher, and Dover Morley Laboratory, London. It's strange to find such an elaborate medicine from a leading London laboratory in the home of such a modest woman. From Mr. Adam Flint, Royal Bank, Eastfield Road, Andover, to Mrs. Alice Asher, 5 Bishops Road, Andover. Dear Mrs. Asher, further to your request of 12 February 1935, I have informed my superiors of your wish to apply for a loan to acquire the lease of the shop you rent from Mr. Fairfax. Despite the seriousness of your case, I regret to inform you that your request has been denied. The amount of your personal contribution, eleven pounds, is not high enough and represents too small a part of the final transaction. I Mrs. Asher's meager savings were not enough for her to own the tobacco shop. 
but we largely cover our funeral costs. What a strange bar. This button appears to activate a mechanism. It is blocked. Mm, it is blocked. Mm, it is blocked. That should do it. Who is this young woman? To my dear Aunt Alice, Marie Drauer. Have you found anything? The victim has a niece. We must find her. Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. The motive is definitely not financial gain. There is no sign of a struggle and the till has not been forced or emptied. I think I've looked everywhere here. 
Let us see if I can find any more information in the shop's surroundings. A lovely lot letters for pens only. Strawberries, six pence a pound. A bottle of poor quality vinegar. The smell could awaken the dead. This woman appears to be a smoker. Maybe you can stare at people like that where you come from, but here it's very rude. She's a big smoker. She must have been a customer at the tobacco shop. How much are your lettuce, please? A lettuce? That'll be five pence, kind sir. And what if I take two? Well, two are ten pence, so what do you want? Nothing, thank you. They do not look very fresh. Did you know Alice Asher well? And for starters, who are you? I'm Hercule Poirot, the detective. Tch, you're foreign, that's for sure, with your accent and your odd way about you. And you'll hear about Alice's murder, I suppose. Well, I've nothing to say to you. Did you speak to the victim yesterday? No, I never saw her. Please, try and help me, madame. Why should I help you? For your beautiful moustache? Heh. <laughs> Come on, move along now. You're scaring away my customers. Please, do not be ridiculous. One thing is certain. You are lying. So I'm a liar, am I? Get away from my stall! Oh, you again? I've nothing to say. Hey, Poirot, is the greengrocer causing trouble? I'll sort her out. No, please, leave her, Chief Inspector. I'll get her to talk later. I've found the victim's niece. She's waiting for you in the back of the shop. Thank you, mon ami. I'll question her. Let us now try and get our brain cells to work.
Mrs. Asher was killed here, the absence of marks in the shop and the regular shape of the blood stains indicated beyond a doubt. I've found the victim's niece. She's waiting for you in the back of the shop. Thank you, mon ami. I'll question her. This place is run down. This is a really cutthroat neighborhood. Anyone could have committed the crime. This is a really cutthroat neighborhood. Anyone could have committed the crime. Dash! A puddle! How clumsy! Strawberries! Sixpence a pound! Oh, you again! I love Bottle of poop. Ah. A bottle. I found the victim's niece. She's waiting for you in the back of the shop. Thank you, mon ami. 